the reason why I left this work, even though I thought, you know, this is my life work, I'll do it forever, <coughs> because it is so powerful, was that I saw working just on our personal stuff, what we carry, you know, what we think we are, what makes us up of us being these individual people who we think we are, doesn't ever release us to really be free. I didn't know that. I just saw that one day. I saw that working on our personal issues will take us in circles forever and will not ever set us free. And I was always about being free myself. And I've done loads and loads and loads and loads and loads of personal healing work over many, many, many years, even before I came to Constellation Work. And I thought, the more you work on yourself, you know, the deeper you release stuff and work on stuff, you eventually be free. And then one day I saw, that's not ever going to get us free. Because we will always have another problem show up. And that was the case for me, you know, I worked on something and the next day another issue was there. So it's like working on the personal level is really, really important and essential and helpful for us to live good lives, but it's not going to get us free. So that's why I left Constellation Work originally. I thought I'll never ever do it again because I didn't see the point. And, you know, early this year, or last year, I think with Ping, Ping um, coming and saying, you know, in China everybody does this, it's so powerful work, and he already had me set up over in China to do <laughs> work over there. And I said, I'm not interested. I know it's powerful work, I have done it for many years, I know it's powerful, but I'm not interested. I want to help people get free. I want to get free, and I want to help people get free. So we did a constellation, two constellations for them in, you know, to help in their personal life with something which is, you know, which is fine. There's no problem with doing that. But those people who participated, interestingly enough, had shifts happen that were kind of assisting in the waking up process. And I was thinking, hmm, that's interesting. Maybe there is more to it than I, than I knew at the time. And of course, not having seen through how life really work, works, I couldn't see how it would be helpful for something else. And my process was really a four-year process to see through how life really works. You know, rubbing, you know, taking things away that I thought Margo was, all of that. And then living for four years from no self, no longer having this structured belief system of who and what I am. And then three years thereafter to kind of embody it because I was a hermit. You know, I was a traveling hermit living in third world countries on my own, you know, isolated. So, how do you then live this in the Western world and in a relationship? You know, it's like a whole lot of stuff then surfaced from there. So, this is an exploration. I don't know quite how it's gonna really work with the awakening, with setting us free. I have a sense, and I'll explain that throughout the day of what's necessary and how constellation work is helpful for this and what you can take home with practicing and integrating this or other healing work that you may be doing how to incorporate in a way that gets you free <laughs> and um, so you know we're in this together I share with you what I know and how I see things and hopefully you in the process as we're doing this will share with me how things surface for you and what insights you get. So we'll explore, is this really something that can help in the awakening? And if yes, how? And if how, how can we speed it up? Can we speed it up? And if yes, then how? And you know, so 
you are all an integral part in this. I just happen to know this system, so that's why I'm sitting here, but you know, I'm, I'm, mm, I'm there with you, right, at the same place. 